Radons, did they hit 100% yet? They're at 96 right now. I guess they're backed up over here at the fossil, uh, fossil module. Wait, didn't we get? Or are they just arriving back? Right, 216,000, 120,000 right there. That was really good. Boom, look at that. We're like two thirds away there now, you guys. Nice. I thought I. Oh, yeah, there you go. New complete genome now. Okay, that's good. So now we can do the aviary. Finally. <laughs> or at least we could have done it earlier, but I, I, I kind of put it off until, uh, you know, they hit 100%. But let's, let's just incubate a Tyranodon right there. I assume... Oh, wait, the viability is 95%? Oh, that's... Yeah, it's because of the skin right there. Yeah. And we can't really do anything else. Oh, yeah, I guess if anything, yeah, we could have done it earlier on. It would have been a guaranteed uh, incubation, but... I don't know. Coastal pattern? That might look pretty cool. Let's do that one. And uh, incubate that one for 316 or whatever that was, $1,000 right there. So that's going to be great. Another rainstorm right now, but nothing too serious to, you know, open up the shelter. So I don't think I need to worry about that. But expeditions have arrived. And, uh... Oh, man! I need more research to continue researching there. Ooh. Okay, let's go back to the uh, Anklo there. Turn on there. Don't need to go there anymore. Oh. Increased dinosaur rating to five star. We'll do that as we continue to release more different species. So that, that's going to be a really good one to have in the background. We should look at improving our dinosaur rating. Raise that and our guests should respond in kind. Yeah, exactly. $300,000 reward. It's important for us to know if the dinosaurs are adjusting to their current reality. Make sure to check their ratings. We need to keep them up. Yeah, I know. I, I, I keep my eye on it. No problem. So I don't think I need to worry about that too much. Uh, do we get the copies at 100? I guess we never got the copies at 100%. I thought I did, but I guess not, huh? Uh, let's continue selling some random trash here. Ankylosaurus, three star right there. Nice. That's 77% right there as it's continuing to... Uh, extra oh, never mind. It went up to 81 after that uh, three star. So that's great. Then uh, Pachycephalosaurus, is that 87% right there? Sheesh. Triceratops, 92% with a 3-star? It may hit 100%. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's, let's see if we're actually able to, to get another contract from Alan Grant. Oh, yeah, here we go. Request another contract. Let's see. I've just received word of a new contract. This one is right up your alley. This sounds good. We can do this one. This is actually, and it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, what Ellie wanted us to do, you know, to release more dinos in general and, you know, get our dinosaur rating up. Incubate hatch and release at least five new dinosaurs. We're going to be slowly doing that, I hope. The Pteranodons still count for that, because we're, we're doing that right now. <laughs> but uh, as long as we remain both prepared and equipped, we should be able to handle introducing a few more dinosaurs to the park. I agree. It's except for $400,000 reward and a little bit of Alan Grant reputation there. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, we're going to unlock stuff if we get, you know, a certain amount of reputation. But so if we hit that little padlock right there, which we're pretty close to hitting it, we might get that if we, uh, you know, sell some more stuff and get that uh, contract done. We're going to get extraction speed as an unlock, which is going to be great because we're going to be able to extract those fossils a little bit faster. Ellie Sadler over here, though, speaking of uh, extracting fossils and stuff like that, uh, we're going to get Dig Team Charlie, so a third Dig Team for our expedition team. So that's going to be great. We're going to be able to go to three different sites at once and then John Hammond get him a little bit more reputation and uh, I guess research cost is going to go down for everything, which doesn't matter because everything's already researched for us right now, right? <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Sell that for $60,000. Sell that. A snake fossils for 48,000, get a little bit of money out of that. And we have a copy three star. Is that 96% right now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's extract the three star and then sell the two star. So 16,000 from that one. Boom. And a two star triceratops. That may, because we have a three star right there queued up, it may hit 100% after that three star and the two star are finished. So that's going to be awesome. Another uh, Pachycephalosaurus two star right there. So let's extract that bad boy. And let's see, where are we going to go now for this next expedition? I guess we do Parasaurolophus right there and get that at 100%. And let's go over here and let's continue getting Crithosaurus, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, etc. Let's go there. And Pteranodon's ready to be released. Oh my gosh, go to the Aviary 4, release Pteranodon. <gasps> oh, we're at like a security camera right now to look at this thing getting released. Oh my gosh! Whoa! I can't really... Oh, there it is! Wow! And it's perched up on that cliff. And gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a pteranodon to the park. Yeah, we're very pleased. Look at that thing. I'm like, I know it's really dark right now. I'll brighten it as much as I can without making it look like trash. But there we go, you guys. We're at least pteranodons to the aviary to reach a combined rating of 400. Well, we have two of them right now. Or we're going to, so that I think I'm going to have that. I'm going to need at least maybe a third, maybe a fourth pteranodon to get that rating up to 400, you guys. So... Let's, let's do that. It's going to cost a little bit more, but I'd say it's going to be worth it. So let's, let's raise it up to four. That, that, that'll definitely make sense. So hatching bay. Uh, let's get another one. So change skin on this one too. Which one is this one? This is rainforest. 
Oh, I can release this one. Okay, let's watch this one. I forget which one this one is. It didn't tell us right there. Oh, Compi's now a uh, viable genome. That's great. And, uh, is it going to oh, there it is. Change the camera angle. Nice. Oh, he's perched next to the light so we can see him a little bit better, but it's still super dark. Nice. And yeah, look at that. That's like just a little bit over 50% right there. So yeah, we definitely... Yeah, we definitely do need a, uh, a fourth, I'd say. A third will probably take us, like, right. Yeah, look at that. 115 right there. So if we had a third, it'll take us, like, 300, like, 45 or whatever. So 115, 115. And then uh, let's get a third over here. Change skin. So we have rainforest. This one's coastal. Okay, so let's, let's just get a nice variety. Alpine. Let's do alpine right there. So uh, incubate that. So we have alpine, coastal, rainforest. Let's do wetland. So there you go. And uh, incubate that. So, yeah, four of them to get the uh, rating up to 400. Let's go to upgrade. And of course, yeah, thankfully we waited because, of course, the better the genome, the better, uh, like, rating you're going to get. Because, yeah, look at that authenticity 33 right there. If we had, like, 50% like research or uh, whatever on their genes, I'm sure we're not going to get anything there. If anything, maybe like one or two points. But now we have 33 right there, which is great. So that's awesome. Now all we have to do is wait for them to, uh, to incubate the third and fourth right there. Uh, release dinosaurs right there. Unfortunately, I guess it doesn't count the Pteranodons. We just released two of them right there, and I guess it doesn't count those, so that's kind of weird, because there's no progress right there. It says zero out of five, so that kind of sucks. But, uh, oh, dead dino! Yeah, that's definitely uh, not going to help out our dino rating right now, you guys. Man, a dilo died! Man! Alright, well, I guess we can continue getting another replacement dilo, I suppose. Maybe another trike, because I didn't that one just hit a 100% genome? I think. But uh, let's go back to dig team stuff. And, uh, let's get ourselves. Yeah, let's go over here, dry source, dry source. Yeah, there you go. Let's continue uh, digging over there. And uh, let's sell some random trash over here. $48,000 right there. Another 48000 right there. How are we doing on that? We're like right on the line. How much is that at right now? It doesn't say how much we're at, but we, we basically have that one done. Come on. <laughs> Man, I guess we can sell like one random fossil we may already have a 100% genome on, right? 91% right there for that three star. We might be able to sell a, uh, one of the three stars to get a little bit of money out of that, you guys. Yeah, this three star trike, that's, de that's definitely going to take it to 100%. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to do this uh, three star Parasaurolophus to make it hit 100%. So yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to sell anything right there to get that Alan Grant mission done or contract done just yet. So we we'll have to wait for the next expedition to be done. And then, of course, after that expedition is done, we should be able to get the uh, or fossil extraction speed up. And uh, be able to extract these fossils a little bit faster. So that's going to be great. I do want to check up on that dinosaur rating right now, though. So let's go down to not there. Dinosaur rating is 28 dinosaurs. Okay, variety. Okay, welfare. Uh, we're at 10 out of 15 right now. The rating's at 2644 out of 3000. So uh, we're, we're at like four and a half stars right there. So that's awesome. The facility's still doing amazing. I don't need to worry about that at all. So glad that I have that nice and set up for everything. Um, if anything, maybe I'll check up on like each shop and see if they're. Yeah, that one's at capacity. That one's not at capacity, so I don't need to upgrade that one. That one's at capacity. And that one's the one we just looked at. Okay, so let's go over to... Here it is right here. Gift shop. That one's at capacity. Oh, yeah, let's definitely uh, up the capacity here. There we go. <laughs> Make that one full capacity. Okay, we only have two uh, gift shops. Okay, I'm glad I did that, because we're definitely missing out on a little bit of money, I'm sure. Uh, 315 out of 480 for that restroom. What about the other one over here that we built? Uh, 120, okay, yeah, I definitely want to up the, uh, staff. Oh, man, this one's full, complete, if anything, maybe I'll get, uh, another, uh, restroom here somewhere. Maybe I'll actually put that over here by the arrival, uh, center like I originally wanted, right? <laughs> but, profit per minute at $605,000 per minute. Woo, that's a lot of money, you guys, and that's pure profit, remember. The income's a little bit better than that. What, I wonder what our actual income is per minute, uh, so that would be, I guess, 649 that's honestly pretty good. Like, the overhead here is only, like, $44,000. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, right there. I could have just looked. The expense of $43,000 right there. That is, like, nothing. Yeah, we can... Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Sell the gold for $120,000. Get $240,000 from both of these. And we're going to get that Alan Grant uh, contract done. Boom. I can't wait to hear what the expedition has discovered. Good news for us all, I hope. Man, right at the end, we get a, uh, an amber for a Triceratops, even though we have a full ge viable genome for it. So I guess we'll sell that for 27000 sell that one for 22000 that three-star, and then a dry source right there. So we're going to get a... Hold on. We should be able to... Are we able... Oh, we might not have enough... Oh, that didn't even up the reputation, like, 
barely any at all. Uh, dig Yield right there by getting even more reputation. Metriocanthosaurus right there, and then Baryonyx right there. Ooh. Uh, dig Team Charlie. Inventory space right there for the uh, for the Dig Teams, or the uh, Fossil Center or whatever. And then uh, Hammond over here, Research Costs. Oh yeah, that's why we got the cameras unlocked right there. Research Team Charlie. I don't need any of that, honestly. Heavy Cable Fence, maybe that'll help out. Uh, maybe for specific instances, but I don't think we really need it right now. So yeah, definitely do want to get the uh, Alan Grant one up. I continue doing some of his contracts. So let's request a, uh, another contract from him if I can. No, I can't. I have to do either John Hammond, Cabot Finch, or Ian Malcolm. So I guess I'll do. Yeah, you know what? It's been a little while since Ian, uh, we've done anything for Ian Malcolm. Let's do an Ian Malcolm contract. If John Hammond's experiment has taught us anything, it's that you can always know more. Contracts like this one provide that opportunity. All right, this is another one of those we could do in the background. And sure, no more than five ga I love every time this happens. It's always like, okay, one death, that's fine. Two, yeah, who cares? Three deaths, I don't care. Four deaths, yeah, no problem. But if you hit five guest deaths, whoo, you failed the mission, hater. <laughs> I love how much leeway that they give us. Sheesh. And sure, no more than five guest fatalities from carnivores. And it's from carnivores. What if they get killed by an herbivore randomly? Like a brachio steps on them or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's just going to be it's just going to take a long time, you know, nine minutes for this to kind of happen in the background. I'll try talking your language for a moment. Guests being eaten is bad for business. <laughs> Can we try to at least minimize it? Yeah, I'm like we've had like no deaths at all, so I don't think we need to worry about that at all. That's going to be great though, because we're going to get a Dr. Alan Grant uh, reputation boost right there, as well as Ellie Sattler. So that's going to be great. There you go. You know, I told John that I'd return to his elaborate prehistoric ant farm under one condition that nobody else dies because of something that shouldn't be alive and that still holds true that's right and i don't think we need to worry about that like at all because uh in the background yep the countdown's already been going in the background so that's great noise anyways uh i guess we could, for the release dinosaurs meme right there i guess we can get another uh another dilo uh we can, we can almost get the Anklo if I just hit 100%. Well, we can get it right now, like I've always been saying, but I always do want to wait until it hits 100%, which we may do right now if it has... No, this is Dryosaurus right here. Man! All right, let's continue getting more Anklo fossils, I guess. Sheesh. There you go, and there you go. Nice. But yeah, let's let's definitely get like a, a Dilo or... Uh, a Dilo and... Apparently, we haven't gotten a Parasaur, so let's get a Parasaurolophus and a Dilo. They should have hit 100% by now, but for some reason they didn't. But they're so close to 100% that I don't think it really matters, honestly, so... Dilo's 84, Paris Roth is 97. Let's just modify the genome. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, so, let's see. Oh, yeah. Then we have Null Gene. So, I guess that's Jurassic World skin. And then we have 1997 pattern, 1997 pattern B, A, 2001 pattern. And there's a lot of different patterns here. I can't physically see anything changing over there on the right side because it doesn't actually show us until they're actually uh, incubated, unfortunately. So, that sucks. I guess I'll do pattern C just to start out with that one. So, sure. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, looks like we've already modified all that stuff there, so... Uh, brain aging, all like that. I guess we could do even better stuff like brain, uh, rapid metabolism. I guess we do that one instead. Sounds good. And, uh, maybe immune response or... Increased bone density, sure. Let's do that one. Maybe we'll do another increased bone density or something crazy. Uh, that'll take it down to 40% viability just to make sure it's still a guaranteed incubation, so... That'll, that'll be fine. There you go. Uh, remote incubation, there you go. And let's do the Dilo next. I think we already worked on that one quite a bit. So I think all we have to do is just, uh, yeah, it's at 45% right now. So yeah, let's just change this to like, I guess, vivid. I, we might have already made a vivid beforehand, but I don't think it really matters if we have two of them, right? But it looks like the excavation team has arrived. So let's, uh, let's see what fossils we got, you guys. Let's see. We got an amber for the package of source. That's definitely hitting 100%, you guys. Holy heck. And we could probably sell this, honestly, but uh, speaking of selling stuff, $216,000 right there. Wait, why did I get Turan on fossils? Did I misclick or something? I don't... I might have misclicked. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to like rewind my footage and see if I misclicked. Because I don't remember. I might have. Anyways. Anklo. I can't go. Yeah, I can't go there because that's blocked off until I have more research. But if I want to get Anklo, this is the only place I can go. And then I guess I could get Euoplocephalus and Styrax. Well, we already have 100% there. But Parasaurus, is great. So let's go there then. But the pack of source, I guess that didn't hit 100% right there, so that sucks. So yeah, let's do this two-star, and that's definitely going to hit 100% now, so there we go. Anyways, let's check up on these guys over here. Yeah, okay, the Parasaurus has just now hit 50%, so that's good. I'm like, we already knew it was a guaranteed incubation, because 60 plus 40 equals 100 right there at the viability, so 
That just solidifies it right there. The Lophosaurus, that's also at 100 well, 105% right there with 60 plus 45, so don't need to worry about that one. And, uh, oh, I just glanced over at this right here. Release Pteranodons at the Aviary to uh, hit a combined rating of 400, and it's daytime right now. Yep, these guys are done. So let's see. Let's see what these guys look like. Now it's a little bit brighter outside. We can see these guys a little better. Oh, I can zoom in, too, with the, uh... Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Ladies look at him! We are pleased to welcome a Pteranodon to the park. Oh, my gosh! That looks so crazy. That's amazing. I wonder if they can make nests. Do they have nests here? They might have nests. Anyways, let's release the second one. I don't know which skin this is, but yeah, we're able to zoom in with this. Might as well zoom in directly on that guy and then... Oh, he's like kind of green. Whoa, did you guys see that? Oh, there he is. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's awesome. What is that? Like... Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a pteranodon to the park. I don't know what the skin this is. But here we go. I guess we just got that part of the mission done. Nice. And I exit this, and we're probably going to get a, a transmission incoming, maybe? Usually we get that, but... Oh, here we go. Yep, transmission incoming. We got it, guys. Mission complete. Mission number six. $600,000. Reduce upkeep 3.0. Outage protection 3.0. Night vision now. But that's awesome. I, I definitely want to see what night vision is, you guys. Woo. And then improved output 3.0. Nice. All right, let's accept. Let's start. Mission number seven. The final mission. At this point, we're just going to continue to add to the populations, dinosaurs and humans, increase the density and capacity of both. It's a miracle. Two creatures from the same place, but different worlds. The dream, Dr. Malcolm. The dream of dinosaurs once again roaming the Earth. Belief pays off. Ellie, the dinosaurs went extinct because they were supposed to. Survival of the fittest, nature's law. But a new god has spoken. He wears a white cabana shirt and walks with a cane. This is John Hammond's world now. We're just, just surviving in it, marking time until we're not. We didn't suffer in vain, Ian. Something good and wonderful came out of this. Living dinosaurs. Yeah, good, wonderful. The chaos is coming, Dr. Sadler, but uh, I do admire your optimism. Yep, chaos in the form of the T-Rex. Achieve a total guest count of at least 800. I think we've already got that one done. And then add a Tyrannosaurus Rex to the park. Woo! Anyways, the mission statement. We should work to capitalize on the park's ongoing success. Continue expanding the park to reach a target guest count. I think we already did that for like a contract earlier on, so yeah, we, I'm sure we already have that done. Incubating and releasing and enclosing a T-Rex should help you reach that goal if, you know, we haven't already hit that, right? $600,000 reward, drivable park tour, so that's going to be great, just like back in, uh, what was it called? One of the DLCs for Jurassic World Evolution, the most recent one that's not this. Claire Sanctuary, I think, right? Yeah, Claire Sanctuary. Back there, we had the, uh, the drivable heart tour, I think, right? So that's going to be cool that we're going to have it here, right? But of course, it's going to be a little bit more outdated, I guess you could say, because I was back in Jurassic World, right? But now we're in Jurassic Park, which is kind of weird to say, because, you know, past and present tenses and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, return to Jurassic Park items available in campaign and challenge mode. So that's going to be cool. Anyways, let's start the mission. Research available, Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil access. Let's do it, you guys. Let's go to Research Center, Research Module, and let's research that. Oh, wait, what in the world? Did we already do it? We might have already done it. Fallen Kingdom update, uh, Baryonyx. Yeah, I already have that. That was like the first update they had. Uh, where is it, though? I think we already have it. Yep, yep, there it is right there. T-Rex. <gasps> Look at that guy. I haven't had a T-Rex in a long time, guys. This is going to be the first time having a T-Rex in this, in this series, this standalone series, that is. Velociraptor right there. Metroacanthosaurus, and that's the only, uh, and then of course over here, the Baryonyx. Those are the only creatures we have locked right now, so maybe we're going to get them here in the future. But, Curse Rolfus just got finished, or maybe it was finished, like, this whole time, I don't know. Uh, where is friend? Oh, there he is. There's a friend right there, so let's put him over there on the shore. And Dilo, go take him over here. There we go, nice. All right. Oh yeah, I did say a long time ago, I wanted to smooth out the land over here, because it was, like, really bumpy while I was riding on the, uh... A, uh, a, a ranger jeep, right? Yeah, look at this. Look at how bumpy this is. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Yeah, I can't modify this. I thought I modified it earlier. I guess I can't do it here, so that sucks. 
Uh, maybe if I made a smaller. Yeah, I can't modify that, unfortunately. So that's always going to be bumpy there, I suppose, huh? <laughs> Anyways, let's check up on the other stuff now. Oh, contract complete. This is good. This is really, really good. Right as I was about to say, let's check them on the, uh, the, the, the star ratings and all that kind of stuff. We just hit five stars for both things, you guys. Five star facility, five star dinosaur rating, and we don't even have all the unique species target there. I guess, I guess we just hit the dinosaur rating number right there. 3,013 out of 3,000, and we got it right there, you guys. Nice. All right. Uh, okay capacity right now. We have a thousand and one guests in the park right now So we definitely do need another hotel. Maybe, maybe I'll put another one like right here And then if we need another one we can put another one right there or maybe another one all the way over here <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well now we just need to add the t-rex to the park. I wonder what it is right now though. Is it at zero percent uh, genome library? Where is it? I think yep. The, oh, no, it's at 37 percent right there So yeah, we do need to do uh, fossil excavations for it. So That'll be something we're going. Oh, and we're at two uh, dinosaur releases right now, so I guess it doesn't count the Tyrannons, but it does count, you know, Dilo, Parasaurolophus, etc. So I guess we'll just continue releasing some of those uh, those types of creatures. Don't know if we have any Stegos here though. I can't remember, but I definitely do know that we've lost at least one Trike. So where are they at? Oh, 100% right there. That's good. So let's definitely get. Uh, you know what? Let's get two Trikes. Let's get two Trikes. 1993 pattern. 1993 pattern. A. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. And uh, let's do skin toughness over here, so there you go. And it's that 62% viability with those uh, modifications, so incubate that. And let's do another incubation with uh, 1993 skin B, I guess, huh? So there you go, 1993 skin B, and then see. Oh! Well, you do kind of get a preview of the skin right there, so let's do that one. And then these are 1993 E and D and E, so there's that. But this one looks kind of interesting. I wonder how that's going to look, so let's do pattern C on that one, and then do a remote incubation. All right, nice. Anyways, about another minute left, and uh, we'll have this fewer than five guests killed by carnivores uh, thing done, and that's going to definitely help out our Alan Grant and uh, Ellie Sadler thing over here, so don't know if it's actually going to hit that little padlock right there. It might for Ellie, though, and we'll get Dig Team Charlie, so I guess that'll help out a bit, so that'll be great. But for right now, I guess we're just going to play the waiting game as we always do. Or, hold on, we may have expeditions, right? Oh yeah, we can still do expeditions, so I guess we'll continue going there and going... T-Rex, yeah, I should have done T-Rex, because, yeah. Let's do that T-Rex right there. Where's the Saurus? Didn't we already have that? I guess, I'm like, yeah, my Zora there. I guess I never went there then, so it's always going to say, oh, new fossils discovered and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's still saying Brachiosaurus. Oh, yeah, and then we can get T-Rex over here, too. Man, I should have done that. Should have done this one and then this one. But whatever. A little too late right now. Not that big of a deal. So let's go over here to fossil module, because I think this is full. Yeah, this is full. <laughs> So let's get uh, the stuff that we can sell and just sell it. So there you go. We have another Triceratops. Sell that one. Uh, Critosaurus. Oh boy. Great, great. Another thing that John Hammond can patent. Well, anyway, nice work. Nice work. Thank you. No problem. And did we hit the... We didn't hit it for either one, man. I thought it would have gone up. I, I, I did not notice either one of these going up right there. Maybe for a tiny little pixel it did, but I didn't, I didn't see any difference there, unfortunately. But the, uh, the Triceratops, is, they got done pretty quickly right there, which is great. So we're going to be up to four out of five here in just a moment, so that's going to be awesome. I do want to check. Hold on. There, there are trikes here already. We're getting a lot of population. Of, okay, so that's, that's actually good. So they're right on the line for social, so that's great. Population is still doing well. Oh, we definitely do need more Parasaurs, so the social on them is low right there. Ooh, and they do... If, if they don't stay in packs and stuff, the social will go down. So, definitely want to keep that in mind. I guess we can get two more Parasaurs now. That'll probably help out that bit, so... Let's get back to the Parasaur, and thankfully we already, uh... Did a lot of modifications to it, so all we have to do is just change the skin and we'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's do Pattern B, Incubate... And let's do Pattern... Like... A, or whatever it is. Over here. I guess if we do 2001, that might be... Yeah, let's do 2001, there we go. See how that looks, so there we go. Remote Incubation. And uh, just kind of wait for those guys. But did anyone arrive here yet? Oh, yep, so looks like they did. So let's go back to the expedition map. Go to this one that has T-Rex and this one that has T-Rex. Oh, there's three different places that have T-Rex. Ooh, that's good. All right, well, oh, four? Was that four different places that had T-Rex? T-Rex. I thought I saw one that had... Hold on, yeah, one, two, three. Maybe I was just seeing something right there. Strasaurs. Okay, okay, I, th I thought there was- Oh wait, do I need feeders for this thing, or does it already have feeders in the aviary? I assume it already has feeders. Oh, sell terrain on- terrain on camera. Oh, look at that thing. I assume it's fine, I, I assume I don't need to do anything with it. Oh, here's my- here's my favorite one, though, like- Oh wait, no, I think there was a different one that was, like, green, wasn't it? I 
can't click on that one. How do I, uh... I don't know how to cycle between the different ones, but... Look at this place here, you guys. This looks crazy! And there's, like, stairs over there, and, and walkways and stuff. For people. Oh, yeah, look at that. There, wait, no, that's the part four over there. I can't actually see anyone in here, though. This should be open, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's operational. Show view. Yeah, here's, like, the camera room. We can zoom in this way, and there's one right there. There's another one right there. Yeah, and there's the camera. Uh, I'm not seeing any more right now, though. Oh, expedition complete. Yeah, I don't see any more of them right now. Hmm. But, uh, I thought I'd actually be able to physically see people in there, but I, I guess I can't. That sucks. Either way, 44 guests in there. Okay, visible terrain on four, so that's good, because that's all that we have in there, so that's great. And no uh, failures, so that's awesome. Anyways, we should have more T-Rex fossils, you guys. Let's look. Oh, I never even... I should have started uh, extracting these, but... Oh, jeez. Ahem. Hi, Dr. Malcolm here, uh, with a new contract offer for you. A, uh, a gift, if you will, toward improving your standing. Uh, is this another one where I have to, like, delete the bunker and then place it down and then we're good? <laughs> Kind of like I had to do with the uh, like the upgrade. I, I delete the upgrade, and then reinstall the upgrade, and then we got it. <laughs> Construct emergency bunkers and increase total shelter coverage to sixty percent. I think we're at like ninety something percent right now, right? So I assume just delete the bunker we have now, and then build another one, and then we got it. <laughs> I certainly say that it'd be a wise idea to increase the emergency bunker coverage in the park. I agree. Dr. Ali Grant and Dr. Ellie Sattler uh, reputation and three hundred thousand dollars. That one done automatically or what? Oh, it's that. Increase shelter coverage to 60. What are we at right now, then? 46? Really? Oh, yeah, because now... It, hmm. If I Yeah, if I move that emergency bunker to, like, right here, then we're going to have full coverage. So I guess we'll have to build another one and then... Hold on. If it's at 46% right now, I guess maybe it counts the tour, like, all the way around here, maybe? I don't know. Mm, but I'm, I'm definitely going to build another one over here because we do not have one covering the uh, the Jurassic Tour right there. So definitely want to have that, you guys. So I guess I'll place it like right here. Uh, there you go. Just so it's accessible to anyone coming out of the hotel or the the arrive or a visitor center right there. So this path and connect up, and there you go. Nice. Dinosaur ready to be released. It's the Parasaur, so we're going to get their rating up. Let's place them over here because they like to hang out right there. So let's go place them down. I guess we'll check them out once they get placed down and see what those skins look like too. So that'll be great. The point of all this, including the risks we are taking, is that the rewards should be worth it. And today, you've proven that. Hey, reputation reward, we finally got it. I want you to have this. A reward for what you've done to support the dinosaur's presence here. Not just on the islands, but I mean here on our evolutionary timeline in the now. Call it a strange feeling on my part, but I think these dinosaurs, they need you. I agree. I'm like, I am. <sighs> I'm not bragging, but I'm... When I oh. first experienced this place, John apologized for things that didn't work. Yeah, little did we know. But with your efforts on this contract, no apologies needed. That's right. Looks like the uh, emergency shelter just got finished right there, so that's great. Anyways, yeah, it's, uh, we we have feeders that need to be resupplied. Some of them are red, some of them are orange, which is fine. But uh, we definitely do need to tend to them to make sure they get nice and resupplied to make sure everything is still able to eat. So let's uh, get the rangers to resupply. Like, basically, let's resupply the Dilophosaurus one as well, just because why not? New viable genome, the T-Rex, you guys. But yeah, I, I, like I was saying right there, I should have started... Uh, ink, or not ink baiting, but uh, ex extracting the DNA from the fossils a long time ago, but I, I didn't do that, unfortunately, but there you go. I, I started it while uh, Alan Grant was talking there, so that's good. And speaking of Alan Grant, we should have upgrades now for not dig speed. What was it? Fossil module? Extraction. Oh, yeah, we have to research it first, right? So let's go to research module. Building upgrade. Yep, building up. Oh, we have four here? Oh, yeah, we uh, we finished that mission and got a bunch, yeah. Extraction speed, that's what I uh, unlocked right there, so that's good. Algae protection, improved output. Let's do improved output in three. That's going to be great, especially with more buildings. Storm incoming, though, so let's uh, preemptively just get everyone inside the emergency shelters. So now that we have two of them, we need to hit open all shelters. That way we control that one, as well as the one we just built over here. Make sure everyone goes inside and stays nice and safe from the storm. Kind of curious how many people we have in the park right now, though. 
I don't know why I keep clicking that when I have to go over here to go to the control room. <laughs> but the island rating, 993. So he went down a little bit right there. Okay, yeah, okay, capacity. So I do need to build another hotel. So let's do that while everyone is inside the, uh, the emergency shelters. So where can I slip in another uh, hotel? I guess over here? Or... Why, well, I, I, I probably put another one right here. <laughs> Just put two hotels like right next to each other. Sheesh. There you go. Right. Let's connect that up. And there you go, nice. Probably gonna need more uh, food and drink and stuff like that because these things are probably full. Yeah, well, yeah, let's 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 get let's definitely get another food and drink. And there you go, that's good. And place down the path right there. And maybe even another souvenir shop if those are full. So let's go check on those. That one's full. That one over here is basically full. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> and of course that means more money too. So not necessarily a bad thing. So dress the gifts. Treasure damaged. We have a tornado here. We might, but, uh, oh god, oh, there you go, okay, that's connected, that's good. Where is the damage? Oh, dead dino over there, okay, remove. I think a Brachio died, you guys, I just looked at the BR, it said BRC right there. Where is this structure that's damaged? Oh, it's the, uh, the food and drink, uh, Grand Jurassic Cafe right here, so let's get Ranger teams, the actual Ranger teams, to, uh, add task and repair, and, uh, improved output is done, so that's great. And these things need to be resupplied. I don't know why they're not being resupplied yet. But there we go. Seems like the storm has subsided. So let's uh, close all shelters now. That way it takes care of that one, as well as that one in the background. 